AI is transforming the way that hyperscalers do work. Like for example, search is now powered by AI. Recommender systems, how you see ads and news and, and um, uh, stories are now movies generated by, uh, recommender, uh, by AI. Uh, user generated content. Uh, so basically Google's business, Amazon's business, Meta's business, hundreds of billions of dollars of revenues are all powered by AI now. Even in the absence of open AI and anthropic, this entire hyperscale industry is being powered by AI. And so the first thing to observe is that whole thing needs to go from classical CPUs with classical machine learning to now deep learning with AI. Mm -hmm. So that transition alone is hundreds of billions of dollars. The second thing is that we now have this new market. This new market is called you know, AI, and, and, this, and, and it's got a new industry, and they produce AI. Mm -hmm. And so open AIs, the Anthropics, uh, the XAIs, the uh, Gemini uh, from Google, of course, and, and Meta is going to be an AI maker. And so this entire layer of AI model makers is also building AI factories. And these AIs are going to power the next generation of new opportunities. And this is where the Harveys, the uh, open evidence uh, um, uh, the cursors, I mean, you, you, right, you see Thanks all of these yeah. AI native companies, and they're going to be connected to AI models, and they're going, to, they're going to go after, for the very first time in history, an industry that never was addressable, and that's the labor industry. Mm. There's a no, new industry sh showing up, it's called physical AI. So you have enterprise AI, you have phys physical AI, uh, are... Um, uh, are uh, augmenting labor. And so, for example, uh, a robo-taxi is essentially a digital chauffeur, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we're now going to have AIs that are going to be embodying, um, going to embed uh, into um, anything that moves. And so, uh, in the case of uh, robo-taxi, it's a steering wheel and wheels, uh, but you're gonna pick and, pick, you know, uh, pick and, pick and place arms, you're gonna have one arm, two arms, you got you know, three legs, all kinds of different uh, embodiments. And so these two industries represent about $100 trillion of the world's economy, and for the very first time, we have technology that's gonna be able to augment that. Hmm. And so that's the reason why you know, people are so excited about, about uh, the next, next wave of AI.